Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven bringing you a quick FCPX tutorial on how to import still frames and use them as individual frames quick and easy. Let's get started. So first I got my uh, I got my finder window open on my other monitor here and I've got some a series of stills. Here we go for a time lapse of the New York City skyline that I took. Right? So it's like a whole bunch of it's 111 stills, the New York City skyline, and I want to bring them into Final Cut Pro X and use them as uh, like a time lapse. So I'm just going to highlight all of them. You can also use the FCPX import thing, but. I'm just going to drag them right in here. I've got my, my little test library open. I've got one of my events here, and uh, I have the event selected. And I'm just going to drag these guys right into import media. Boom. They're in here. Look at this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? All here. One of 111. Right? So now I'm going to take project. I'm going to do make it time lapse test. That's what we're going to call it. So now I've got my project here. <clears throat> these are ready to go on my timeline. I'm going to select each and every one of these 111 stills and kablamo, drop them right fucking in there. Here we can set the uh, the resolution and everything. This is fine. Regular old 1080p. There we go. Right, so you can see the problem. They're in here now as 10 second frames. But super easy to fix that. We simply highlight them all by pressing Apple A on our keyboard to highlight all. We can, uh, I can hit Shift Z to show me the entire timeline here and you can see every single one of these guys is highlighted. So here we go again, Apple A to highlight all of them. Then we're going to hit Control D on the keyboard. Now Control D is D for duration. Uh, ordinarily, you know, we've got like a the time code up here in this little box in between the viewer and the timeline. But right now it's switched when I hit Control D. I'll show you again so you can see it. See, there's the timeline. I hit Control D. Oh, got to select all of them. There we go. Control D for duration. Now I'm going to hit 0, 1 on my keyboard to set duration to one frame. I'm going to press enter and BAM! All those little guys that had been 10 seconds long each, they're now just one frame each. I'm going to hit shift C again to show me that whole timeline here and you can see and they play back just like that, so pretty. And so the next thing that I can do is I can highlight all these guys and select new compound clip, right? And what that'll do, so you can see now it's treating all of those individual stills as single frames. We can even play it back, plays back flawlessly. And since I have it here consolidated in a compound clip, I can now apply effects like color correct to the entire body of stills there and I can put transitions on it and Final Cut X will uh, treat the whole kebab like a single clip even though they're made up of a bunch of stills and you can still access all those stills just by double clicking on the compound clip it'll bring up the compound clip and you can see here there's each and every one of those individual little guys. So, all right, hope that helps, and uh, good luck editing. Bye-bye.